guys, welcome back to the Supplement Review. And today we're going to be checking out a new pre-workout called Atomic Bond. That's from a company called Max Muscle. Max Muscle um, are formed by Anth Bales, who is a pro bodybuilder, and he's got a gym up in Tyne and Weir, up in the north of England. And yeah, these guys really seem to know their stuff. I got sent a sample of this stuff last week by the guys at Strong Sports Nutrition. And yeah, it's to my mind, it's probably the, if not well, one of the strongest pre-workouts available on the market. Um, this has real strong overtones to me of the original Jack 3D formula, um, for reasons that will become apparent in this video. So, what about this stuff is it that makes it so potent? Now, I'm going to flash the ingredients list up on the screen now and take you through a couple of the key ones. So, the eagle eye out there will recognize most of the ingredients here. You've got a good dose of beta alanine, you've got um, glycerol, citrulline malate, nitrate, and dimalate. So, you've got a slightly lower dose, but you've got variants of the chemical compound in there. You've got creatine. Taurine, Nacal tyrosine is a nootropic that you may remember is in Strong Sports Nutrition's um, Stimulax. You've got, uh, so a couple of interesting things down towards the middle of the bottom, sausage tree extract. So Cugania africans, um, my apologies if the pronunciation of that was slightly wrong. I had to look this chemical up, I had to look the plant up, um, and apparently it's a, a tree that's found in Sub-Saharan Africa that gives you quite large fruit, and that fruit is prized for its use in herbal and traditional medicines for everything from um, skin conditions through to thyroid conditions, hormonal imbalances, and removing curses and evil spirits. So, I mean, you never heard, right? Alongside that, you've also got another chemical in here called teacrine. Now, teacrine is a stimulant that competes for the same receptors as caffeine in the brain. Um, it is a similar effect to caffeine, but a little stronger and much longer lasting. So rather than having that short term energy boost that you get from coffee, where you have a peak and then a crash, this helps stabilize you out on the way down, which is really good in my opinion. Um, other interesting compounds in here, uh, niacin, bioperine, which is a black pepper extract, which helps increase the bioavailability of other compounds that are in here. So it'll help your body absorb what's actually in the pre-workout. Now there's too much stuff in here to just go through each ingredient. There's some of my highlights, but you can take your time to have a look through and work out what each one does. Now I'm really excited to take this. Last week I had an amazing workout using this stuff. I five repped my one rep max previously, albeit with a spot. So I'm going to be training legs today and I'm really interested to see what kind of workout and what kind of weights we can hit using this stuff. Now a tub of this is pretty expensive. This was $39.99. Um, you can buy it in individual sample packets, which is what I got from the guys at Strom. If you hit them up on Instagram, they'll probably be able to hook you up with a sample. I think it's normally about two quid for the sample and a couple of quid for the postage. So, okay, that's it. So, I'm really looking forward to trying this. We're going to mix this up now and uh, yeah, head to the gym. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. I've got the digital scales out today because I really want to get the dose on this right because. Up. So they say one scoop of this stuff should be 15 grams. Put the scales on, tear those out. Okay. So 10.6, 10.7. There we go, 15. This is what the powder looks like. It's quite coarse. You got a little silica packet in there. There we are, 15. Okay, I'll be honest, that tastes terrible. Um, and that's a good thing. The two strongest pre workouts I've had so far probably are N1 by. Uh, New Trend, which was from the Czech Republic, and Total War by Redcon One, which is from the States. Both of those taste like ass. Both of those are really, really strong. Um, I think this is going to be one of those. Yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes since we took the uh, atomic bomb home. Just arrived at the gym, and already I, I feel feel the pre-workout coursing through my veins. 
I keep kind of zoning out and getting lost in my own thoughts. Um, super ready to get this workout in. Uh, really, really looking forward to it. Kind of almost nervous. Like, um, it really isn't like anything else I've ever taken on the market for pre-workout. Um, yeah, let's get inside and see what it does. So it's about halfway through the workout using this, and I am absolutely fucking drenched in sweat. Um, just finished my squats, managed to get up to 160, shot for 165, uh, but didn't get it. I had to get a squat to come in and help me out. So, so far, feeling good. Still got loads of energy left, even though I've done maybe 10 sets of squats doing singles and doubles at close to my one rep max. So, yeah, so far, so good. Okay guys, so we're back from the gym and it's time for a quick breakdown of Atomic Bomb by Max Muscle. Now this is by far the strongest pre-workout that I've ever tried and if anything I think that may go against it. It's not something I'm going to want to take every day but it's definitely something that's going to have its use. They power you through when you want to hit a new personal best or when you've got a, a particularly grueling workout to get through. Um, the energy was great, there was no crash at the end, I still feel great sort of four or five hours after my workout. Um, Nothing but good things to say for this. Worth every penny of the $39.99 that I paid for it. You get 30 servings in the tub. The flavor is pretty terrible to be honest, but with results like this, like genuinely who cares? Um, yeah, this has been a learning experience and something I'm definitely gonna keep in my regular rotation. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video.